It is said that there was once a man who fell madly in love, but his love was never returned. He was at the time the chief of his empire, with his power ranging from this island to the farthest edge of land and sea. No one has ever seen his face, only his back and his shadow. Mysterious as he might have seemed, he was widely known to be kind to his people and merciful to his enemies. Worldwide ambassadors, exotic merchants, and alluring women rushed towards the sacred dwelling of the empire, hoping to peek a glance or even befriend this powerful yet kind-hearted lord of their realm. Yet none of them succeeded. It is not until one day that a little girl accidentally discovered the true identity of the emperor that people started to fight hand in hand, and peace has never shown its existence till this day. During the rule of the emperor, there had been constant report from the near sea by his dwelling about a gigantic, robust, and ruthless monster who always appeared when full moon shined through the clouds every month. Some thought it as a mutated beast, some thought it as a werewolf, but the Lord never took care about it. It had footprints of a hound, body of a strong human, and eyes that glow in the dark. Fishermen always find dead fish on the shores on the next morning of the full moon. The girl was named Helena, who was washed on the shores in a shipwreck and was exhausted and badly injured. Her head was bleeding with the salt water dripping from her torn clothes, and all she had left was a torchlight that wouldn't last for long. While she was struggling to get to safety in order to seek for help, she suddenly saw large pieces of ragged clothing that could never possibly be worn by any human with the size and its shape. It was swaying in the cold wind that made Helena shivered even more. With a closer look, she discovered an abandoned shack covered with moss and parts of the building were eroded, eaten away by the seemingly everlasting wind. A storage room whose door was widely open appeared in front of Helena's sight, using her last surge of energy, hoping to find some food or supplies, but all she found was sealed bags and boxes with a disgusting, rotten smell suffocating the air itself. She was soon intrigued by a constant noise coming not far from the storage room, as if someone was playing a broken swing, and she saw. Helena ran for her life and woke every villager up that night. People carried their torches and weapons approaching the wooden shack with extreme care and silence. When they arrived at where Helena was, they saw nothing of a monster or a hound. Instead, hundreds and hundreds of dead and rotten fish were left on the ground, with the emperor's sword covered in sand and a note written in blood. Helena, you were my love at first sight.